going to Shroud Key. Uh, we're, we left uh, Highborn Key back there, and it's about, uh, I guess it's about 12 nautical miles uh, to uh, Shroud Key as the fish swims. Let's see, we are close hauled. Got the first reef in the main. Got the head sail reefed a little bit. We're making four knots. And uh, yeah, the wind's kind of variable. So we keep having to mess with the sails, but I think I'm done with messing with the sails for now. We're just gonna let it ride. Oh, I did something really stupid this morning with the sails. I'll share that with you when we arrive at uh, Shroud Key. jumping in. Do you need a little push or do you think you got don't it? Don't push me. I was great until I saw the shark. D don't, just put the shark out of your mind. Okay, get me out. <laughs> You're fine. You're careful, careful. Slow down, slow down. There's nothing out there. Be careful, slow down. Molly, take this before Molly pulls me in. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness gracious. My goodness, you're you're more dangerous than the shark is. <laughs> it was like a little nurse shark or something she saw. It it really wasn't even that big. But uh it doesn't matter. Because it's a shark. Because it's a shark. How <gasps> how's the water? It's cold. Chilly? Yes. Alright, now what? Hair washing? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cease uh, taping. All right, so you got a little privacy, okay? Thank you. I don't. I, that just seems like it's the nice thing. I don't want to do it again. One more time. You have to rinse off. No. All right, one, two, three. <sighs> okay, rinse good. Take your time. You're not rinsed. Rinse that junk off. Is there still soap in my hair? Yeah, your hair. Get it good. It's cold. <laughs> oh no. Don't stand I'm, I'm just just kidding. There's no sharks. Is it out? Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Do you need help getting up the ladder? Uh, no. <laughs> what a what a grunt. <laughs> Alright, good to go now? Yes. Mmm, baby. Broccoli and cheddar soup. Looks pretty delish. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. I like your turban. Thank you. So I told you that I would tell you about the mistake I made this morning. And I will show you. Oh, it's painful to look at. Okay. All right. Right here, I have a rip in my mainsail. It's actually, it, it's not as bad as it, it, look, it looks really bad uh, with it folded up like this, but it's actually, it's actually a pretty straight rip uh, when it's standing up. Uh, I've got sail tape and uh, thread and stuff like that, so I'm gonna get this patched up tomorrow. But anyways, what that is, I mean, what, what happened was, um, Basically, I I raised the main sail uh, with the bunt lines, you know, tying the sail down. So, uh, basically, what a what a bunt line is is uh, whenever you reef your sail, you know, first and second reef, you end up with this saggy, you know, belly in the sail, and these uh, these bunt lines like that, all they do is they kind of they kind of cradle that loose part of the sail on the bottom and trouble with that is if you forget to untie those bunt lines uh it can just rip the sail when you uh when you raise it and i i wasn't paying attention and just raised the sail up and it made a loud uh popping sound and now i have a ripped sail but it should be a should be a pretty 
pretty simple fix. It's not going to be perfect, but uh, I don't know. It, it'll be fine. It'll definitely get us through this trip. But it really doesn't matter where you're at in the Bahamas, the sunsets never fail to impress. All right, so we got our sail fixed up, and these are the tools we use to fix it. Sail tape, scissors, and a sewing awl. Oh, and uh, I don't know where the thread went, but there's a special kind of uh, waxy thread stuff that we use. Tammy's got it, let's see. Yeah, this stuff. Whipping twine. It's just this, just this wax thread stuff. Works pretty good. Here, let me hop by you, baby, so I can take a take a look at the uh, actual repair. I'll show you what we did. I hate that I made this mistake and ripped this thing out, but uh, the repair I think looks pretty good. You can see the uh, the ring where the the hole used to be through the sail at uh, one of the bunt line points. So what did we did? Actually, let me go around the other side first. There's better light over here. If you can see, we did this we did this zigzag thread through just the sail first. And then we put one layer of uh, sail tape over the top. Then we went and we did this, this outer stitch around the perimeter. And, uh, and then put a, a second layer of sail tape on it. So, uh, I think that it'll hold up. But anyways, that's, that's what it looks like now. This is actually what the thing used to look like. Had one of these, these holes in the grommet with this, uh, this, this is called a bunt line that went through the sail. So we don't have a bunt line here anymore, but it, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's completely necessary to even use the bunt lines. It just kind of keeps the, uh, the sag of the sail kind of contained. Uh, when you got it reefed down. So anyways, that's our, uh, that's our sail fix. Right there. I don't make a lot of really stupid mistakes either, so it really makes me mad to do something like that. But we're good to go now. Tampy says not to beat myself up so much, but... Mistakes happen. Uh. So we just got back from the beach. We took baths in the water. And now it's time for a Molly haircut. I've never done this before. You ready? Okay, so you stand up. Yeah. Stand up and turn sideways like that. I have no idea the proper way to do this. Um, oh my goodness. Good. Okay. All right. Now turn this way. How's it going? Good. You okay with this still? <laughs> if you're not, it's too late. <laughs> Mm 
Look at that. Nice job, honey. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> there, Molly. <laughs> Let's see. Good thing is, she's so cute that even if I messed it up, she'd still be cute. Yeah. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to look really good whenever it dries and kind of curls up a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Okay, Molly wants to uh, demonstrate her uh, her reading skill to you. So I'm going to pick a fish out of this here sport fish of the Atlantic. We're going to, we're going to, all right, let's do this. This looks, this looks like a good, uh, good one to begin with. Let's see what you got here. Pigfish. Oh, uh, no, no, not quite. You got a letter wrong. Pinfish. Pinfish, yeah. Good job. All right, you want to do another one? Okay. This pink one here? Yep, that one there. Right. Red. Yikes, this is a big one. That's okay. Red Snapple? Yeah, <laughs> good job. Okay, this is this is gonna be the trickiest one yet. This is two words. It's a two-word fish. Shark. Okay, alright, try it. see what you got there. B Ak Ba. Tip shot. So what is it? Black black tip shot. <laughs> oh yeah. Good job, kid. Was it hard? Yeah, you're doing good with your reading. Nice job. We have exactly one neighbor over there at Shroud Key. Uh, this morning, everybody kind of absconded up out of here. And uh, I don't know, it always kind of makes you wonder if everybody knows something that you don't know. What I do know is that uh, it's cold front time again. It's a really interesting pattern. Once you kind of pay attention to it a few times. But it's, it's pretty, it is pretty, predictable so you just got to kind of uh, you know position yourself uh, so that you got good protection from the wind and the swell and just make the best of it which is what we're doing have the dinghy kind of uh, this kind of tied up kind of ghetto uh, I've got these I've got this orange strap and this red strap going to the far side of the dinghy and I have it like that to lift up the far tube more because uh when these big uh waves were rolling up under us the, it was basically smacking the dinghy on the water and it was really hard on the davits and everything so uh anyways that's a temporary solution certainly not uh certainly not pretty but it is effective let's see what the rest of the fam is up to let's see here is tammy Hello. she's pulling down her shorts yes what are you up to show all you two my goodies don't be showing YouTube your goodies. I know. Oh, you're playing uh, Kingdom I'm helping, Rush? I'm helping Molly level up her foot. Oh, okay. People. Molly is uh, brushing her her new hairdo. I like it. Who did your hair? I'm, they really know what they're doing. You. They're extremely professional. You.
Stick that away. 